and it shall not go on. And we've been doing our best to continue that. And here I stand today as a member of the council that he set up so long ago with the same principles, the same mandates, but certainly in a different time and a different place. No less and probably more responsibility. And we look about and we look about for allies, we look about for friends, we look about for people who will understand and agree with those mandates of peace. And that is what we're talking about today because that is the mandates for life. One of the other instructions that we were given is that we are now placing in your hands all life. And it is your responsibility and it is your duty to look after all life. And so when he was speaking like that, he wasn't talking about our aunts and our uncles and our cousins and our fathers and our mothers. He was talking about all life. He was talking about the trees. He was talking about the fish, the animals, everything that grows, everything with life. Because it is a family. We are a family, all life. Our brothers and our sisters to the west of us, called the Lakota people, have a way of finishing their prayer, their thanksgiving, and they say, all my relations. And when they say all my relations, that is precisely what they're talking about. They're talking about all life. When we traveled and we talked with the Aboriginal people from Australia, they talked about the two laws and when we questioned them about the two laws, they were talking about all life. We give thanks for all of these. Every time we meet together, no matter how many or how few, the Thanksgiving address is given. It's an acknowledgement of the rest of living things in the creation. And it's a Thanksgiving and a, our way of paying great respect for all of the rest of the creation, which we are only a, a part of this great big design for living. And if any one of the other components were to fall out from that cycle, there would be a great imbalance and eventually it would collapse, it would be gone. We, as mankind, are the only ones who do not give to the rest of the cycle. For the rest of the cycle is constantly giving and giving and giving. And we are constantly taking and taking and taking so that we might have life. But even for American Indians, materialism and power has been very tempting lately. They're human beings. I mean, everybody's a human being. I mean, I, I look around and I see this pell-mell run for gaming, gambling, high-stakes casino. Indians got gold fever, just like the white man. So That's what I look at it, and I say it's the same thing as the white man. We used to laugh at him because he was so crazy when it came to gold. Now we look at our own people, and they're running around with the same look in their eye. And I'll tell you, it's not so funny anymore. Peace is a, it's an everyday fight. It's, it's something that goes on all the time. You, you know, um, we believe that our, our selves are, are one half the negative, one half the positive, and it's the balance that's important all the time to keep the balance. <laughs>